So it's safe to say the hotel dollars are pressing our neck. Mm. Um, Nigerian businessman, philanthropist, and um, former chairman of Fort Oil PLC, Femi Otedola, took his daughters shopping. Mm. Now, of course, Tolani, <laughs> Temi, and Florence, they all went shopping. And what they got from this shopping is not shoe, it's not a mm -hmm. bag, it's not, it is Ferraris. <laughs> Ferraris, there's plural there, yeah? Now, the announcement was made on Twitter by Florence Otedola, popularly known as DJ Copy, as Nigerians cannot keep calm. The Ferrari car um, in the marketplace is currently approximately worth about 131 million naira and above. Here are mm -hmm. some of the reactions on social media. Now, at Abu underscore Swag says, quote, in the middle of a pandemic, when many people are unemployed and currently struggling to survive, do you know how many families um, he can lift out of poverty or how many schools, hospitals would be well equipped with this money? Absolute waste of resources, end of quote. Now, responding to that particular tweet, Alex Loba Loba said, Otedola lifted loads of people out of poverty in this pandemic. Go and read about the forerunners of COVID. Mm. Um, see the amount he donated to the initiative. Come back and compare it to the amount he used to buy these toys mm -hmm. for his kids. Celebrate with them and pray for God's blessing. End of quote. Adam Andres treated a photo of his own children saying, um, <laughs> quote, not Otedola, but I got bicycle for my girls. Ferrari loading, and I tap into that one. That's really cool. At Yemi Hazan said, quote, Femi Otedola did um, shopping, bought cars for his daughters because he could afford to. Your parents did shopping, bought clothes, shoes, Etc. Cause is the best they could. They can buy you cars too, but realities are di just different. The comparison and bans is disrespectful to them. Now the reactions are just too many. <coughs> All you need to do is pick up your phone and look at it. You will see it and see for yourself. But the general so far is simple: God punish poverty. <laughs> Amazing stuff! Amen. Congratulations to the Otter the last sisters, mm. right? Yeah, this my neck is, is still <laughs> under their <laughs> under their feet. That's not, why it's not, like not, not necessarily. I think we're all born in different circumstances and different families. Except me, it's sharp pressing my neck. No, no, it's fine. That's why I said not necessarily. So maybe you, but. Yes, uh, so. I think, I think, I think, I think we should be content. And I like how David Do, and I like how David Do responded because he said, um, "Congratulations, copy. I pray I'm able to do the same thing for my daughters." Do you understand? Yeah. I think that's the way everyone should look at this. No, he did not pray. He said, "I will do the same for my." Yeah, daughters. I will do the same. There's yeah. a difference. There's a difference. Because yeah. he knows he's yeah. done so, that. Yeah, mm. I, and mm -hmm. I will do the same for my kids as well. And um, yeah, so um, I think that's the way everyone should look at it. And um, for the people that are bashing out, Ted Olaf could have done, well, you can't please, you can't satisfy everybody. No matter how much you try to donate into the community or into the society and uplift people out of poverty, there will still be people that will still come out and say negative stuff. And I like how the guy wrote it, like, go and read about Car COVID or Ted Olaf is doing. He did a lot and he's still doing. So spending this on his kids is not. Yeah, hmm. spending this on the skin is not a big deal, hmm. and I just hope that we're all rich enough to do more for our own children. Hmm. I mean, I would like to agree that you know, this <laughs> the ring around the uh, mindset, but not everybody's going to be able to do that. Unfortunately, that exactly my thoughts. Um, but I, I, I feel the pressure. I'm not going to lie. This one entered my soul. I it was shopping, babe. Um, shopping has been way, redefined. I, I like, I like the concept. I mean, the the lady that tweeted that you know our parents bought us clothes or whatever. I think it's the same mentality. Hmm. It just depends on the level of deepness your mm. pocket carries but you want the best for your children mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm. and i like that he did that i like that he did that for all his girls and it was like a grand thing for all of them i don't know it just seems like a really sweet thing to do it with your sweet, kids fam. um it just happened to be on a on a steroid level because <laughs> so, no, some of us we can't just afford the tires just yet so i'm still looking at maybe the rims or like the side really? glass. but we're looking you know it's it's, <laughs> it's not really my cool. <laughs> It's what it is. I'm happy about that. I think for me, the person that really stood out of all the conversation was uh, Mr. Easy. Mm -hmm. When somebody responded and said, to pain me if they see Mr. Easy driving this car, whatever, he was like, what's when I've already booked the car? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I like that, like, you know, attitude towards mm -hmm. it. I don't think it's 
um, necessarily a bad thing to want to obviously tap into that blessing and, mm -hmm. and everything. But I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I said, no, oh, yeah, it's going to come for everybody. No, mm. it's not. I uh, like, and I it's like okay for you to, for you to prepare you. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's as prepared. Mm. So I like the way you brought in the Mr. Easy conversation. That's mm. another angle. Maybe we should touch on it quickly. So I saw people talking on Twitter saying one man decided to carry it on his head like his personal problem, saying that Mr. Easy has been working hard for a long time, mm. having to write pitches, do startups. I mean, he's, he's always been an entrepreneur before music actually clicked but a lot of people will always associate whatever he does and how he wins to the fact that he's dating um Otadola's daughter you know and that that is disrespectful and all and i replied that to it and i said women have been going through this for okay, the longest of time when we talk about it be like hey but you're still chopping the money mm -hmm. now that he's going through it he's not complaining please <laughs> let us rest our mind our businesses and i yeah. think um most times when or some of the things that i see men go through now actually with the gender equality creeping in a bit in nigeria subtle, it's not like it's yeah. subtle yeah mm -hmm. it makes me happy that they are beginning to understand these things from where it's coming from. Another one as well that brought me back was when um, a guy was talking about um, when a guy asks you out. Uh, that he was talking about gay guys now. If a gay, that a gay guy has the right to walk up to a straight guy to say, I like you. That it is the prerogative of, of the straight guy to say, no, I'm, I don't do this. I'm into mm. girls. That they shouldn't take it personal. And that reminds me again, because guys will come to a girl and say, I like you and all that. And if you refuse, it becomes insult. It becomes all that. And now they cannot take it <laughs> that a gay guy is telling mm. them, I like you. And just mm. turn it down. They'll tell you, it's punch. Mm. It's blow. Mm. I'll remove your teeth. Do you understand? <laughs> so a lot of these things, yes, it's weird. We are correcting it. But I also like that they're happening personally. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs>